In this video, I'm going to show how to do adaptive release in Canvas. Adaptive release is where you open up one module when another module is complete. A way that I like to do this many times is that I will have my students fill out quiz question suggestions after watching lecture material. I'll use those questions to make the quiz for the next week. And if you submit quiz question suggestions, you get to see everybody else's quiz question suggestions. But if you don't submit quiz question suggestions, you don't get to see everybody else's quiz question suggestions. Back in the old days, I would actually put together an email and email these quiz question suggestions only to those who submitted it. But I found a better way to do it through adaptive release. So let's take a look at this learning module, Recycler View in Kotlin. You notice it's currently not published. Uh, don't worry about that just yet. What I want to do is I want to make a new learning module that is opened up only if the user completes this quiz question suggestions here in module 13. So to start with, let me go ahead and make a new learning module. We'll just say module. And I'm going to call this one QQS, or let's call it quiz question suggestions 14. And let's say add prerequisite. Now remember the goal here is that they complete the quiz question suggestions in this module 13 recycler view in Kotlin. Uh, so we'll go ahead and choose that and then we'll say add module. Scroll back down, it does add it towards the bottom. So I'm just gonna need to kind of move it up a little bit to make it, uh, make it a bit more visible. So there we go. And I guess in hindsight, probably should have called that quiz question suggestions 13. Uh, not a problem, I can fix it right here. There we go, aligned a little bit better. Uh, nonetheless, you see the prerequisite module 13 recycler view uh, in Kotlin, which is this learning module right here. Okay, uh, so what I need to do now is I need to set some completion criteria on this module 13. So I'm going to go in and choose edit from the three buttons on the right, and I'm going to say requirements, add requirements, and I'm going to say student must complete all of these requirements. Now you notice if I select down here, you see each of the components of this learning module. In other words, Recycler View in Kotlin, you see we have the content and activities, which is where I have my lecture videos. We have an assignment that's due, a quiz question suggestions, and then a quiz that covers the previous week's material. So just kind of take a mental note that there are four things here. Now when I go here and I choose edit, and I choose add requirement, and I say student must complete all of these requirements, Look at this drop down here and you see those exact same four components of the learning module. The reason they're here is I can require that the student complete any of these. So for the content and activities, that's just where I have my lecture videos and I could say view the item, which means they went in and they viewed that. Uh, final project video, since that's a submission, I could require that they submit the assignment. Um, I'm not going to worry about that one just yet because that one's actually due later. What I'm really concerned with is that they submitted the quiz question suggestions. So note that I have the quiz question suggestions here, and instead of view the item, I can choose submit the assignment. I could also do score at least if it were a quiz or something like that, but we'll keep it simple and say submit the assignment. Now I often want to make sure they've finished the quiz as well, so let me add one more requirement. I'll say add requirement and I'll say, uh, we'll take the quiz itself and we'll say submit the assignment. So for this module to complete, the students must both submit the quiz question suggestions and also take the quiz itself. And now I choose update module. Now you see complete, complete all items. You see that little indicator up here, which indicates that complete all items is what's required. And once again, we can go back to edit and just confirm what I have there. So complete all items means complete the two that I've selected. And now we take a look at this new learning module I made, Quiz Question Suggestions 13, and you notice that it has a prerequisite set up. For this to be visible, this has to be complete. Module 13, Recycler View in Kotlin. Module 13, Recycler View in Kotlin. Now, under this conditionally available module, I can put anything I want. So I could choose, uh, let's, let's choose the plus here, and I'm going to choose page, and new page, and we'll say, we'll give it a name, we'll say quiz question suggestions for quiz 13, add item. 
And now in here, I can click on this and I can add some quiz question suggestions. Uh, as I said, typically these will come from the students the way that I do it, but let me just put in an example. We'll say, what is the question mark colon operator called in Kotlin? It's called the Elvis operator. And so on and so forth. And, and because the students submit this as essentially a survey or a quiz, I pull their suggestions out of a grade book, import it into Excel, and then throw it right over in here, just a quick copy paste. But nonetheless, it's a good way to aggregate all of their quiz question suggestions in one place. And then I choose save. Okay, let's go back to my modules now. A couple things I'm going to need to do to make this available to the students. First of all, on the module that I created, Quiz Question Suggestions 13, I'm going to need to go ahead and hit the Publish button and relock modules just like that. Now, this is published, it's available for the students, but again, only after they have submitted these two assignments or quizzes from the previous module. One other thing I need to do is I need to publish this module itself. Now, this is an active course and I've not finished making this module, so I could publish it like so. I'm going to want to unpublish it again because if not, students are going to get in there a little bit early. But nonetheless, you get the idea. I have to publish both of these. So this is a tool that I found that saves me a lot of time in making things conditionally available to students. And in addition, the quiz question suggestion concept reinforces something that I learned when I was a student myself taking horticulture classes. One of the best learning hints I ever got was from the director of the Department of Horticulture, where we were supposed to memorize 16 new plants every week by genus, species, common name, uh, when they bloom, when they go into fall color, what those colors are. I really struggled to memorize 16 unique plants a week. And what he told me is, if you reflect on what you've learned within 24 hours of learning it the first time, you'll find that your memory retention increases dramatically. And he was right, because I would go through a four-hour horticulture class, and no matter how tired I was when I got home or when I was on the bus the very next morning, I would go through my notes, and I would find that those things that I rehearsed just once within 24 hours committed to memory, and then I was really prepared for that next week's quiz. So that's something I've implemented in my own classes by doing this quiz question suggestions. And they're typically due within 24 hours after lecture is over to encourage students to do that rehearsal of what they have just learned. I've not done any scientific metrics on it, but I will say that I generally notice those who do complete the quiz question suggestions, which are optional, but those who do complete it get much higher scores on the next quiz. So I hope this has been helpful, and I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.